Welcome. In front of me is a Microsoft Surface Go 2, and today I'll show you how you can record a screen on well, this device and also any kind of other Windows 10. Uh, this will function primarily with Windows 10 and onwards. Uh, Windows 8, uh, 8.1 and anything before that will not work, I think. Although Windows 8 might have had this option, I think in Windows 8.1 as a kind of like a beta feature. So anyway, to start off the recording, uh, what you want to do is uh, simply press Windows key, this one right here, and G. Give it a second, the device is a little bit slow. And as you can see, it pops up with this thing right here. So in here, we can actually capture a screenshot, but we can also record. So there's a couple uh, settings in here. As you can see, we have audio. So you can choose the volume of the audio throughout the recording, I believe. Let me just quickly check if I max this out. Does it change the same thing? Okay, so it actually allows you to just uh, define the overall volume of the device. And here we have the system sound, which again is basically the same thing as this one. This one just allows you to control your what you're hearing, while this one will control how loud it is being recorded. So what I would recommend you to do if you're trying playing to record like some gameplays and stuff like that, uh, do record a sample just to see how loud it actually is so it is not excessively loud for no reason and then adjust this accordingly and once you're ready you can simply press right here start recording and obviously we need to have something uh, some kind of application that that needs to be running to actually record it for some stupid reason Windows decided that we cannot record just a desktop because this function is primarily designed for games uh, it is game bar or at least that's how it was called uh, and even though it literally detects desktop, it won't allow you to record it. Why? I have no idea, but that is, it is what it is. Now let's see if we can actually record things like a web browser. Let's see. Will that allow me? And it actually records. Okay. So for application like uh, looks like the uh, browser, I needed to basically fake enable it and it allows me to record it as you can see right over here. So once you're done, you can click the square to stop it and uh, game clip recorded and it saves it to uh, your drive videos captures a new tab apparently let's see so i'm gonna quickly find it now i will move this like so so you can just get a better look at what i'm opening so i'm gonna go into my file explorer right here gonna navigate to this pc videos captures and there it is so you can also play it Now, for some reason, it didn't record that overlay, which I interacted with. Uh, I don't know why. It is not the most perfect uh, way to record your screen. If you're planning to do this, I highly recommend downloading some third-party uh, recorder for this. Anything else but this, because as you just see, it doesn't always work too well. Now, like I said, this will work on basically any Windows 10 computer. And uh, for the people that... Mm, as an example, like me, use uh, desktop with a, a NVIDIA GPU. Uh, you do have access to the Shadow or Shadow Play, whatever it's called, which will allow you to basically record the, your display at way better quality, way better frame rate, um, which will be overall way better than what Windows offers. Uh, but for everybody that is using something like this, an all-in-one PC, where you can basically detach it and have a tablet uh, without installing anything. This is the only way to actually record. If you don't mind installing additional software, uh, well, once you install it, you will probably have way better experience than using the uh, game bar right here and recording it through this. So that is just a 
little bit of an alternative that I'm just telling you that you can look into. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.